Hello everybody, welcome back to EU4 and Paradox Gamer. We are going to start a new achievement run, with, uh, which is called Nice to Pass Lane, which is Saxony, to, um, to own all Chinaware provinces. Basically, there are three ways to do this, as I see. The most common way is to conquer the way, uh, your way to the sea, and then colonize around Africa, into Indonesia and China. That's the boring way, in my opinion. I'm not going to do that. You can also smash your way through the Ottomans and the Mamluks, uh, like I did in the Trade Hegemon series that I did a while ago. So I'm not going to do that either. The third option, obviously, is to go through Poland, Lithuania, Muscovy, into Siberia, and into China that way. That sounds like a much more fun proposition to me. So I'm going to go that way. Alright, this is our starting uh, position. We don't like Bohemia because they don't like us and we uh, want some of their Saxon provinces over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and rival them. Uh, we can also rival Bavaria. Brunswick doesn't like us. Um, Okay, we can pick Brunswick, I guess. Now, we need Austria as an ally. That's very important. But also, it looks like Hungary can be useful. Because they, like, they don't like Poland. They don't like Bohemia. That's pretty good. Uh, but Austria first. So, uh, let's unfold these. So we're going to royal marriage Austria right away and put a claim in on Nida Lausitz, like that. Let's see what kind of advisors we can get. Um, we got a national unrest, we have better relations over time, and we have reinforced speed. That's definitely going to be better relations over time. Let's pick this guy. Also get rid of the fort so we can make some more money. Mission, form alliance with Brandenburg? No way. What is Brandenburg's position anyway? Um, they don't like the Hansa, Pomerania or Teutonic Order. Hmm, could be useful with an alliance in the beginning to take out Bohemia and then turn on them. I think I'm rather just gonna wait and see how things go. So let's go to speed four. And hit this baby up. Alliance offer from Magdeburg. And they don't like Lüneburg, Anhalt. Uh, that sounds like an okay idea. And what about these guys? Royal marriage? Negative 7 for royal marriage. Because of the distance. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's get the uh, Austria up. Alliance negative twenty nine. Improve relations. There we go. Now we can just wait a little bit. See how things develop around us. To make him 1.3 ducats. And we can have a few more troops. Three more. We will eventually do that. Right, let's keep an eye on Austria here. Negative 25. 24. Uh, it's not building up. Uh, we can buy all three. Take us to max. Uh, 
Let's see, relations is going up pretty quickly here. Alliance offer, 22. Uh, what do they got here? They have uh, improving relations with Bohemia. Allied with Hungary. So that would help out to be allied with Hungary. Kingdom of Italy event. I'm just going to go straight uh, for the next claim on Oberlausitz. Army is full capacity now at 10. The uh, king is pretty crap. 430, that's what you start with, it's hard coded. So nothing to do there. Uh, and the, the heir is only two years old, so I'm waiting for my heir to become a little older. He is a 215, so pretty crappy too. But at least he's got five in uh, military. So I might just want to kill my king at some point. Negative 17 for the alliance with Austria. We have approved by 45 already. 16. <clears throat> and who is Bohemia allied to anyway? Teutonic Order, Mainz, and the Palatinate. Teutonic Order is pretty strong in the beginning, actually. So we could wait for Poland to attack them, because they will eventually do that. Yeah, got to be a little bit opportunistic in the beginning, yeah, because our, our start is so weak. Well, we do have five provinces, but it's still a pretty weak uh, position when you think about Brandenburg and Bohemia don't, don't like us, and Bavaria too. We've got to be really careful here. Still a neutral attitude from Austria. Alliance negative 13. Improved by 59. Oh, we can put another claim on Erz. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to claim all, up all four of those provinces. Eventually taking Prague will be a, a big thing. Twenty one development. Seven, seven, thirteen, eleven. Negative eleven for alliance offer. Approved by sixty nine now. No, oh, we got a war. Let's just see what's going on here. That be Brandenburg against the Hansa, Lunenburg, Magdeburg, and Oldenburg. Riga. No, here. Saxe Lauenburg and Brandenburg. That's a fight that I think Brandenburg will lose. That's fine. If they become a little bit weaker, we can pry on them. I have absolutely no problem with that. Well, the roses started. Negative ten for alliance with Austria. I think we should be able to do it. End of the war, the roses. That was quick. All right, Bohemia declared on Brandenburg. Um. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's good or bad, actually. Who's in that war? Let's see. Brandenburg against Bohemia, Silesia, Teutonic Order, Mainz, and the Platinate. They got the whole shebang in there. 
Okay. Well, nothing we can do about it right now. We can just wait for the alliance offer, which is negative eight. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be tough. 15 and 7. Looks like it's gonna flat out just before we can do it. I can always send them a gift. <coughs> of course, if I have money. Uh, let's see. That's only going to improve by 7. Uh, let's put a claim on Eager. No, I think 3 claims is good enough. Let's try and get Poland, or I mean Hungary, into the fold. Uh, marriage negative 2, so let's improve relations. Now let's see who is offering an alliance. That would be Lunenburg. Currently fighting Saxe, Lauenburg, and they're allied with Anhalt and the Hansa. Anhalt is allied with Brunswick, Lunenburg, Pomerania. Uh, no, that's just gonna cause me more trouble. So, no. Noble ally with foreign power, prestige or admin power, and it's gonna be prestige. I'm not really prestigious. Oh, I'm still paused, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see, we should be able to secure a royal marriage with Hungary. There we go, so stop relations improvement. Wait a couple of days and royal marriage Hungary. All right. So, offer alliance. Oh, that uh, looks like it's going to be more easy because they are also uh, rivaled with uh, Bohemia. All right, let's improve that up a little bit. Yeah, we can recall from Austria. And then once we get the Hungarian alliance in, I think we can get Austria straight after that. Why am I keep getting paused? Uh, offer alliance negative four. Yeah, it's getting there. Yeah, Austria is almost there as well. All right, off alliance to Hungary. There we go. Let's see if that change anything in regards to Austria next month. Oh, who, who are they fighting? Poland. Okay, they're in deep trouble. Oh, I wish I could get that alliance in. All right, let's wait and see. I think we're gonna head <coughs> on to attacking these guys in case Hungary will <coughs> help us. Let's see. They won't. They're fighting in another war. Who are they fighting? Ferraro, Savoy, Montferrat, and Genoa. And how's that going? Zero. 
attacker against Ferrara in the Austrian conquest of Ferrara. Oh, okay, Austria's in that too. So they're fighting together. Yeah, I don't think I can... Let's see, who will uh, join them? Actually, nobody's going to join them. So it's just me and Bohemia. And do they even have an army left? Yeah, they still have 15,000 men. Let's wait a little bit. Be opportunistic. Because I could just take them on, on my own. Without Austria and Hungary. If they're beaten down enough. Yeah, this is their army. There's about 8,000 men in there. And... That corresponds to what they have. It's all mercenary at this point. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do this on my own. So I'm going to take some chances here. And I'm going to build some um, some mercenaries for on my own. Let's say three of them. His general is a zero shark, so I don't even think I need a general. He's got no morale. Alright, let's do this. Declare war. Nobody will join him. Uh, take whatever. That's... Oh, taking a chance here. I think I will only fight Bohemia in this battle. Uh, we'll see. I should probably take the speed down a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, and Silesia, of course. Yeah, so we're fighting these guys. Uh, they got no morale. Let's get these guys over here. Apparently I lost a lot of guys for some odd reason. And sending these guys out of the way. Let's head into Arts with uh, the mercenaries. And these guys... Uh, let's see. Bring these guys back home. Get some morale back. Stack white. Stack white. Oh, I'll have to go around. Okay. Stack white this guy as well. Ah, he's moving out of the way. Okay, they're fleeing somewhere far away okay let's get the war goal then okay where are they going um, stand back hopefully the army will be slaughtered by um, the Polish or something like that I'm also thinking about um, getting the seats going in Niederlausitz. So I will make sure that um, I get the occupation and not somebody else. Uh, they're making more mercenaries here. These guys are still recovering. Um, 
Okay, he's heading to Prague. Let's wait for him to get stuck on Prague. There we go. And then leave one guy here. And take him out. Bring this one into Eager. Section you occupied Erz. Oh, that's nice. Then we can head down that way. Another stack wipe. It's looking good here. Um, I will occupy all these areas. Go to Bujovici as well. If I can. Alright, let's put a break in here, guys. I will uh, see you guys in the next one, I hope. We'll finish the war up with Bohemia, take some extra land, ally up with Austria, maybe even hit Poland soon. We'll see. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.